two-year-olds off and running. A very good start, a bit outward in the beginning. Bella Francesca lost a couple of lengths. Speeding around that only turn is Sunday Spite, glued to by Jersey Jet and Rainier Arietta. These two speed off towards the apex of the turn. Rare Beauty runs in third. Fourth and on the move, Bella Francesca. Fifth towards the inside is Tigger Attack. And out the back is Mo Cowbell. Has to do a lot better and is way, way back. The field hits the 3 16th pole, and it's Sunday Spike. Kim Sampson out by two, not even ask. Under a drive is Jersey Jet. Sunday Spike trying to fend off the late challenge of Jersey Jet. They're dead even. Jersey Jet outside. Sunday Spike to win. Jersey Jet second. Then it was Tigger Attack. And they're off. Sluggish beginnings for both Grays, Blue Even Score, and White Cashel completely out the back. It's Rain Attack and Alvin Ortiz by half a length from the bookend Dart Attack, who gains up. Trying to split as Tinas Tapazar. Very impatient is that one. Then we fall back to Bugsy's Wave Rider in fourth. Headstrong early, Blue Even Score fifth. And on the outside, looking in is Brianna Harper. And way out the back continues to be White Cashel trailing by double digits. The speed is on now. Inside out, rain attack. Outside, dart attack. Trying to split, trying to get on through there with the black is blue even score. And now it's dart attack. And Victor Palin, too. Get out by a length and a half. Blue even score. Rain attack right together. Gaining ever so slightly as blue even score, but not a threat for the rest. We're down to these three throughout as they lumber past the 3 sixteenths. It's dart attack, trying to be kept together. Rain attack gaining. Here comes White Cashel on the scene, trailed by 15 lengths and is on the board. Will she get up? And the other gray, blue even score. These two together. White Cashel is going to win it. White Cashel at 12 to 1. Blue even score. Dart attack, and then maybe. And they're off. Exiting the barrier quickly, Prince of Mayhem gets to an uncontested lead early. Little Mighty Man with good early toe. It's Bellamy time, gonna settle in second right between. WW Trafalgar is a bit headstrong, but has to be, getting that inside path back in fifth is road game. And then three lengths back to long shot WW Russian Gold. They zip on down the backstretch run past the half mile. No change in the running order. Prince of Mayhem still dictates terms. Little Mighty Man in the Martinez. Green Stripes out there and circumvents and has that lead away from Prince of Mayhem now second. On the move together, it's Bellamy Time and W.W. Trafalgar and circumventing on the wide part comes Road Game. Road Game is rolling on up. They went an early, easy quarter mile. It's all Little Mighty Man, but has company and Victor Balin of Road Game down the center of the course. Bowing out as Prince of Mayhem, not today for W.W. Trafalgar. It's Little Mighty Man, strong on the drop. Gonna make it a handful of wins so far this meet and scoots right away at even money. This dude just keeps getting better with time. Road game second, then a big time photo for third. Either WW Rush and Gold, Prince of Mayhem, and they're off. Even dispatch for all. Too close, and Alex Bendezu to dictate the early pace. And wrapping around, here comes Risky Spirit to go right up in front. Back in third is Miss Tina Marie. In fourth is Coogan, about six off the early leadership, and out the back is Solicitor. They head around the turn towards the quarter mile to go, Mark. Inside rail, too close for Don Martin and Alex Bendezu, trying to sweep the two-year-old card here today, and this one's out to a length and a half. Risky Spirit has to go and go now. Miss Tina Marie down the center of the course is gaining. Here's Risky Spirit to go right by too close. Gonna have to deal with Miss Tina Marie. How about it, lover girl? Gonna win it. Risky Spirit second. Then it was too close. Coogan and Solicitor. And they're off. A very difficult beginning for debuting Midnight Revolution out the back with Dragging Mane. These two are doddlers out there. And on that lead, a very speedy sort. 
It's going to be St. Louis Louis just about by a length in the early stages with Durango Chrome. On that one's outside at long shot status is Rodham with the apprentice aboard, gaining up to second by a neck. An acre back to Dragging Maine, who's dragging along with them. Knuckle, who runs a professional race on the outskirts of proceedings. Far back to Midnight Revolution, who's a bit awkward moving. And then out the back, around the turn, absolutely nothing there for Dragging Maine. Past the 550 they go. St. Louis Louis greets the quarter pole just by a neck better than Rodham in second. Durango Chrome is a looming third. Knuckle on the outside, moves out of last. And now getting into the picture from far back is Dragging Maine, meaning business, but on the lead and deep stretch, it's St. Louis Louis. This could change. St. Louis Louis out by three and a half. On coming down the center is Knuckle, but there's no catching St. Louis Louis. Midnight Revolution, a very professional second half of the race to get second. Then it was... And they're off. Very well into stride is the speed of Jack Van Berg to cross and clear. Patchy going to dish it out as well in second. Cariel will be third. Here comes Tallis Park grad, ridden for speed to keep close to that lonesome leader, Jack Van Berg, in third. Not again, Jackie runs fourth, fifth and sixth right next to one another. Cariel flanked on the outside by the oncoming perfect wager who moves up a notch and out the back, late running Devil's Rule. At least 11 lengths off the speed. Hunkered down behind the main is Corey Orm, the veteran Jack Van Berg, right where he wants to be by five. Patchy in second. Still third, Tallis Park grad is passed by the oncoming. Here comes Perfect Wager, who's gaining with not again Jackie. And out of the breach from far back comes Cariel on the lead throughout. Does he have enough in deep stretch? Jack Van Berg has a host of rivals, just five lengths behind inside the final 220 yards. J. V, B, here's Perfect Wager gaining outside Cariel. Jack Van Berg, Columbus, Nebraska zone. Perfect wager second, Cariel third, and not again Jackie. And they're off. Tough beginning for Pink by Letters, who's now at the back and behind rivals. Kitten's Clown going to flash some speed. So is Tiz Wow. And up there after a dawdling beginning, Pink by Letters is to contest and crosses in clear in front of Kitten's Clown, who'll be third. Behind Tiz Wow, who runs second. On the outside, Arrow Strike moves up into third, with Kitten's Clown now back in fourth. Outside fifth around the turn is Stolich in a handy spot. A bit headstrong as King Doodle didn't get part of the lead down the back stretch and kind of wandering about out the outside of the track. The distant trailer is George's vision. They go past the three-quarter onto the five-and-a-half, and it's Tiswell, Victor Santiago, to call the shots three-quarters. From paint by letters, the maiden breaker last out in second. Here comes Arrow Strike, who's gathering momentum, on hold in third. Outside King Doodles, now out of the wake of the dirt, about the four or five path, very wide. And then next on the outside in the yellow cap is Stolich. Inside of Kitten's Clown, the trailer remains George's vision. Not much speed, 26 and 2 and 51 flat. For the opening half a mile, they zip around the turn in the closeout race. Tis Wow by half a length from the oncoming arrow strike. Still wide, running two races to their one. King Doodle still has some pace left. Doddling out his paint by letters, not today. This one's passed by Stolich, and coming up through rivals is Kitten's Clown. Still far back to George's vision. Deep stretch, final furlong ground. Tis Wow, Victor Santiago. Here's King Doodle. King Doodle is gaining, not today for arrow strike who's been game and wanders about king doodle tis wow arrow strike king doodle to win it was arrow strike second tis wow and the oncoming george's vision completes the superfecta